All right. So, roundup time. I gather this is an old game. I certainly hope you're no longer using Cass's scripts because fuck those fuck fuck those scripts. Seriously, I don't know how to wind this up. There was a bit of a um plot hole left in that the original it. Where did it go? Um, if there was once every twenty years only one man became the it, then. Who was the it that that man saw? Mm, didn't think of that one, did ya? Oh my, you're going to have to change the story if you remake it, because it doesn't make sense. And honestly, your mapping could use some work. Well, that mapping could certainly use a lot of work. Straight edges. All the edges everywhere. Look at this forest. Oh my god, it's just straight. Yeah, no. Forests, they don't work like that. Um, the rooms were huge. Oh my god. Like, well, let's have a table with a couple of chairs in the middle. Voila! One big room. Oh, wait. It's a bit bare. Better put some carpet down. Mm-hmm. Gonna make it look real bad. Maybe invest in some cutting tools, cut down the size of the rooms a lot. Uh, make the houses a little bit bigger, because seriously, they're as big as the stalls. With, um, with, what's it called? Uh, brain, please work. With, uh, Mac tiles, you can make some pretty good looking big houses. Most of the time with um, ace tiles and that, you kind of, you know, limited. But with the Mac tiles, you could make some good houses that are a bit bigger than normal and actually fit and look like they fit, especially if you're using Mac characters. So try that shit because it, it, it works. Um, I'm talking outsides. Insides still need to be a bit condensed, a lot condensed. Condensed. Um, the story needs a bit more work too. We've got we a big exposition dump at the end really doesn't help make a story. You got this guy, he's wandering through the town and stuff. He has no interactions except right at the start where he's like, I should go home. You should probably try and pace out the story a bit, little nib niblets here and there. Um even though he knows who he is and what's going on, maybe. Um Perhaps try and make it so that he reacts to things but in a knowledgeable way. So maybe when he entered that house he could have said something like, Oh, this is where my brother lives and um, I wonder where, you know, I wonder where he and his daughter are. Or he and his wife or, or you know, something, even though it wasn't probably the the brother's house like if you go to the brother's house you'd be like oh where's where's my brother at during this hour he should be home by now or, or I wonder where Sarah is I mean the little girl didn't even have a name right so or the wife so you're not really drawn into the whole personal side of the story so it's not really evoking any kind of emotion apart from oh yeah that happened um also make things a little bit clearer, like, you saw I got stumped in that room when I was running away from the thing. I didn't know I could push that fucking thing, because I tried to push it up the first time around, and I couldn't, it wouldn't move, so I just assumed you couldn't push it down, because, you know, I didn't even, s well, actually, I tried to push there because I thought it was bugged, because I couldn't, it was so dark, I couldn't see the thing that was actually on the spot at all, so I was like, why isn't I cannot move there? Which is why I was raging about that. Um, so yeah, maybe make things a bit clearer. Maybe have him say, oh, this thing's not moving. Uh, maybe I should push it from a different side. Or, or oh, I, I can't get leverage from this side. Maybe I should push it um, from a side that has more leverage. Like, maybe you could have it, like, go up a level and then you push it down and then you can jump onto it and jump down. So that 
it actually serves a logical purpose. You can't reach it from the bottom, but if you go up a level and then you have to push it down, you can reach it from there and it can help you escape the ghoulie by going down. I don't know, somewhere, something like that. It, it can help, like, sell a bit more of an illusion. It gives you more of an idea. And you can see that, oh, well, I can't deal with that right now, but later on, I might when I get up to the top, I could probably do something with that. Also, the interaction around was really nothing. It was more just walking around and just looking at things, and there was nothing worth looking at because there were no interactions, bar a few items that you found in random houses. So you could probably, like, put interactions, go to the stall and say, huh, I thought Tony would be out at this hour. I mean, he usually stays later than, um, later than the others so selling to the evening crowd. Or, um, oh, Maria's left all her stock out on, on, um, unchaperoned. She better be careful in case such and such, like, Jack gets sticky fingers, like, he, uh, again, like last week. You know, breathe a little life and history into the area. Like, just saying that, you know, that there's a woman named, um, whatever name I just gave her, <laughs> memory of the goldfish, that there's a guy named Jack who's got bit of sticky fingers and we'll um do a um you know five finger discount if you can get away with it you know it just gives a little more history you know there's a guy who tends to stay up later because there's usually a crowd in the evening you know stuff like that if the guy's trying to piece together what's going on especially if he's in a confused state there uh, you know on the verge of insanity and that show that through his interactions and through his dialogue choices like go into the house or knock on the doors and say huh why isn't such and such opening um i thought they'd be home this hour or um oh the lights aren't on in such and such's house they must have gone to bed early you know something like that try and like it sure you had the graves but they didn't really Instead of saying killed by it, you could go into, like, killed by unknown or found, found murdered in the woods or killed by unknown, um, or fell off, fell off a ladder or something like that. Make the deaths a bit less straight away. Oh, killed by it. Instead, make it more, um, mysterious. And then maybe find clues that lead you to believe, well, okay, that wasn't really a fall off a ladder at all. Or, if you were trying to show the, um, that it was every 20 years, you could have older graves with the dates on it and say, killed by unknown circumstances, unknown circumstances, scattered among graves that aren't, aren't as old, but have them all in clumps of, like, 20 years there's three graves at the back that are all unknown circumstances that um have the date 20 or 30, 40 years ago and you'd be like there's a bit of a pattern here every 20 years there's a group of people who are killed by unknown circumstances it gives you a bit more history to the town a few more clues for you to figure out what's going on and allows you to sort of get the feel that something's not right in this town there's something off so you want to invest in something like that instead of just a dump at the end where it's like, oh yeah, this happened and this happened, oh yeah, and by the way, this is what happened. And it's like, yeah, but I got no clue of that throughout the whole game. I mean, we saw a few ghosties, but what? That's, that's not telling us much. And then, you know, if you want to kill off characters and sort of make it feel like um those characters are good you could do flashbacks with little memories like when you walk into the little girl's room you could have a flashback of her on the ground playing with a doll and looking up and saying uncle come play dolls with me or something like that and then have it flash again and have the bloody bed and you'd be like what's going on here what is my niece but why is there blood on the bed what's going on you know create this sense of like connection to the characters who are getting killed when you see the um when you go down to the river um the first time you're able to go down there if you go down there have a little scene where um the wife is on the raft and maybe wife um waving to you going um calling your name give the guy a name for fuck's sake <laughs> it's so hard to connect with somebody when you don't know who they are you know 
and and like calling his name saying look look I caught a fish or something like that and you'd be and and then have it flash forward and or, or have her just slowly fade out or um then just flash and then have this picture of her floating down the river her body floating in the water or something like that you know something to create some sort of unease but also some history like it's like oh she's like somebody we know and then we see her floating down the river like what the fuck just happened you know sort of get mind gamey and with the character with the player you know not just um not just say oh well look here's here's this wife and oh, oh yeah she got killed oh I shot her you know maybe maybe have him looking at the bed and then have flashback of of him or some shadowy figure holding a gun and a bang and then her falling over and you're like, what the fuck? What's going on? Or, or some guy creeping up to get her and then a bang. And then at the end you do this reveal where it's you holding the gun. Or you creeping up to try and stab her. But, you know, invest a bit more in storytelling details because um, a, a big blonk thing at the end is just... Yeah. Also... I'd recommend having the credits not on the same map as the the dev room. Um, have the credits, because you've got this really somber feeling, and then suddenly this huge joke feeling, and it's like, what? S seriously? You you're not you're not taking it serious? You know, it's a, it's supposed to be like a not a horror game exactly, but sort of like a horror game. If you're not taking it serious. I probably shouldn't take it serious either. And you could set up your um you could set up a copy of the town. Like some of the houses that maybe make your dev room the main body of the town where all the houses were locked and have it so you can go into the different houses and learn more about the inhabitants there and stuff like that and what your thought and design processes were. Um I mean this you could have a little offshoot area for the silly jokes and that. But you know, People usually go to dev rooms because they want to know more about um, the, the creator or about the design process and, I mean, a couple of silly fun funny little jokes, but uh, let them save before that, <laughs> you know, <laughs> especially if you're going to kill them off. I thought that was a fake game over to begin with. I was like, oh, oh he's trolling me, yeah, oh, oh, seriously, <laughs> kind of thing. Yeah, so overall... There's a lot of work to be done on this baby. It has promise. It's an interesting story. It, it it does have promise. But it does need a lot of work. So, if I had to give this a star rating on RMN, I would give it 1.5. Uh, I mean, it was written. At least your writing isn't, like, bad. That, that's a huge bonus. It's just the presentation that way. Maybe I give it a two. Two. Yeah, about a two, actually. But, um, it does need a lot of work in order to be, you know, to shine. I, it's, it's okay for what it is. <laughs> uh, five to ten minutes, it ain't. <laughs> well, not for me. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> and um, it's almost an hour that I've been talking shit now. So I'm going to... <laughs> this this small little game turned out to be an hour long game. Mainly because I don't know how to shut up. But anyway, it's okay. It's, it's not a horrible game. It's not a bad game. It's far from the worst game I've ever seen. It's far from the worst horror RM game I've ever seen. So, you know, it's pretty good. Decent, sort of. It just needs a lot of work. So, I'm looking forward to see if you um, if you do remake it one day, how it changes from this to um, an updated version or a remade version. Because I reckon it could do pretty well. Um, but ditch the cast script. Or at least edit the the actual files and shit in it. It is possible to edit the lighting in the cast scripts, 
but they the car script caused so many problems especially with transitions if you have a black screen and the lighting is still on uh, you saw before it crashes really easily because it's fucking bullshit you know I ditch the script go custom it's really easy to set up custom go get modern algebra's um whoa oh my screen just went dark go get modern algebra um, his uh, picture affix to map and then use pictures and actually make your own lighting effects they can look really good um, it's how most people who make good lighting effects use make the good lighting effects it's it they don't use CAS they use their own lighting effects um, and you can you can easily make a um, lighting effect follow around follow around on the map using X Y um, you know variables checking the X and Y of the hero and then constantly putting that um, image over the top of the hero and it allows you to go transparent with the more transparent with the um, thing tint the screen a blue not too dark add a bit of gray in there so that you know it's not like straight bl dark blue add a bit of gray so you can actually see what fucking's going on don't take it below negative uh, don't take it above negative 100 my god don't it that is far too dark you know um just mess around with it see what still looks like looks looks okay and what doesn't it you can get some really good effects with some work I'm looking <laughs> I'm not even looking at the screen I'm looking over at my bookshelf and I'm like as though I'm talking to you you're not over there I know you're not over there you're more on the screen than you are over there but fuck it it's more interesting looking over there plus my head sore um, my neck my neck is sore so stretchy stretchy Anywho, I am sort of thirsty right now. My throat's sort of giving out on me from talking so much. <sighs> so invest in a bit of mapping. <laughs> Upgrade your mapping, especially with forests. Um, go check out my mapping tutorials. Wink, wink. Um, <laughs> yay. Product placement. Um, <laughs> minus the product. Uh, but check out some tutorials and check out you know if you need help with mapping the screenshot threads there for a reason it there's even a um, function on your game page where you can actually mark something for feedback an image for feedback and it'll get to uh, sent to a feedback section it's not really used often on RMN unfortunately but it is there if people want to try it so yeah thanks for offering your game up for me to tear to pieces i hope you enjoyed my tearing oh for those watching thinking oh my god she's such a bitch how harsh oh my god what a complete and utter bitch he totally asked me to rip it to shreds seriously seriously froosh back me up here he told me rip it to shreds liberty too many people have been saying good things about it I need to hear negative comments. I need to hear more cri more critical. I know it's shit. I want you to point out what the shit is. I'm like, all right, I can do that. Choo, 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 choo. I'm not deliberately being harsh. I see promise in it and I like the idea and I do want to see, you know, him get better. I know it's an older piece of work. I just realized why I'm looking over at my bookshelf because my microphone's lined up with it. Fucking hell. You're so smart, Liberty. Um, <laughs> so very smart. But, <laughs> fuck that voice. <laughs> so smart. Um, <laughs> I cracked myself up with it. That's so stupid. That's terrible. Anyway, so, <clears throat> yeah, that's why I was so harsh. Because he wanted me to be... I'm not being a complete bitch to him or anything like that. I see a lot of good things in it. I just, we, you know, I, I want to help him, you know, grow by completely ripping him a new asshole. Yeah. <laughs> oh. It's, sorry, Froj. <laughs> I, I apologize. I keep talking. It's getting closer and closer to an hour. Oh my god. The rendering on this is going to take forever. No. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this review. I hope it helps you a lot. Um, 
I was going to write a review. I might still do so uh, if you'll want one. I'm sure I'll ask you. But anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you all have a good day and take care of yourselves and each other. Um, give each other some good feedback to make up for the shit feedback I'm giving now. Go on, be nice to a neighbour. Um, take care and I will see you next time. Ciao for now, guys. <laughs>